The beef I have with some Korean laws in place. The beef I have with Korea is not always the sort that you can get in a restaurant for 50 bucks a piece. No, no. The beef I have is with the regularity, with certain laws that are in place here and that seem to be implemented regardless of how effective or ineffective they are for that matter. And in particular, the law that applies to our hagwon, to the safety of things. As you can see here, there's a door. This door has been mounted here just recently. Um, a couple of days ago, a couple of safety inspectors came and decided to, to have a look around and decided that things needed to change. And for the first three years that we were here, this door was sitting upstairs because I guess the previous owner, the first owner, uh, decided that the door was kind of uh, inconveniently placed and removed it and put it upstairs. But um, the safety inspectors came, uh, looked around in our school and decided that in order to um, keep the school as safe as possible, these doors needed to go back inside or needed to be put back in. And so they did. Now my question is, isn't something like an elevator, a public um, point of entrance, it's not supposed to be free and open for people to go in and out of at all times. Well, yeah, that's what it should be, I think, in my mind. But as you can notice, as you can see, this door is covering like a quarter of the elevator. Not only that, when I close it, it doesn't actually close. See that? It's not closing very well. The hinges are crabby. So, I guess on part, this is uh, due to the, the repair guy who was installing these doors. But I mean, look, the door is covering like a quarter of the elevator. So whoever designed this building messed up. They either built our entrance doors, they made them too large, too long, those causing these metal doors to be too big or the elevator has been placed in the wrong place. But I mean the size of this building doesn't allow for any other place. The size of this building doesn't allow for the door to be, for the elevator to be placed in another location. So, so you've got these doors that are kind of blocking the elevator and it doesn't really make sense for them to be here in my mind. You could argue that in case of a fire, uh, uh, you should not be using elev an elevator, right? Uh, use the stairs. Well, if that's the case, then why have an elevator in the building to begin with? Just get rid of the damn things and have stairs. And then you won't have problems with, uh, with the doors. It seems to me that if you're aiming for safety and security, then, you know, just slamming in some big ass metal doors will not really change anything. All it does right now is obscure the entrance in and exit out of the elevator, which kind of, in my mind, defeats the purpose of, you know, following the regulations of safety standards in a building. But that's just my uneducated opinion. Who am I to judge? I'm not a safety inspector. What do you think should be done about this? Is this right? Does this look good to you? Having a door that obscures a quarter of the entrance to an elevator that is used on a daily basis on numerous occasions over and over and over and over again. What do you think? I'd love to hear. Leave a comment below and as long as you do that, remember to subscribe and like because that's always appreciated. Helps out the channel. Peace out.